a less formal setting. You know, we work with each other a great deal, but we really don't get a chance to really get to know one another. Kaylee Hamilton, why you beast it? smack dab in the middle of the radio dial. It is National Radio Day here at CHNL 2777. Now today, two youngsters, Chris and Tom, are about to tell you how they got on the radio. Here they are, right here in the studio, next to me, enjoying a nice Chatterton cigarette. Chatterton. Nothing like smoking when you're a baby. Oh boys, how did you go about getting on this here radio? Send away for an ad in the back of a comic book? No, Charlie. Uh, actually, what happened was, uh, after the Anthony Weiner Carlos Danger thing happened, and then I explained, after I explained it to Tom, because he didn't know what was going on because he has a life and isn't on Twitter all the time. What's this Twitter I'm hearing so much about? Is it a uh, bird watching club? Yes, that's exactly what it is. I thought as much. But after the news broke, I decided to write a song making fun of Carlos Danger. And uh, Tom. For and those I who don't know, Carlos Danger is a no good Nick who sent pictures of his. Uh, yeah, um, out to, you know, people, and it wasn't good. Keep going, Chris. So Tom and I wrote a song, and it was a very simple song to write. We just got a keyboard from the 80s and pressed a few keys, said a few words. and For those who don't know, the 1880s were a time when cowboys and rebels alike pillaged the, no the Midwest. And we recorded it, and we put it up on YouTube. And then the next day, the host of a radio show, not yours, although I do enjoy yours. Who listens to a radio station other than CHNL 2777? Stupid people. I thought as much. But the DJ from another radio station, for stupid people, uh messaged me and said, I'm using your song on my show, so you're gonna like it. That's absolutely ridiculous. She should ask for a press release and send you royalties. That's what I would do on my classy radio station. CHNL 2777, right smack dab in the middle of your radio dial. This is a quite a classy radio station. Yes. Now, we'll be right back, but boys, during the during our break for some advertisements, how about you wash down your Chatterton cigarettes with some nice malt liquor, versus, in courtesy of my man over here, Lando Calrissian. All right, we'll be right back. Then you will tell me the secret. Secret? The secret of what makes Captain Crunch cereal so crunchy. Oh, well, you see, Captain Crunch is made of two nourishing grains. Corn for crunch, oats for punch. Sweetened just right and... But how does it stay crunchy even after you pour on the milk? Oh, well, that's a secret. I know it's a secret, and I must have it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Very well. Sea Dog, give it to him. <laughs> Hello? Quaker Oats Company? Say, uh, how does my cereal keep its crunch? Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought so. Well? Just as I thought. It's a secret. <laughs> Let's go, Sea Dog. I hate to see a grown pirate cry. Captain Crunch from Quaker Oats. And we're back. Hello again, Chris and Tom. Why, hello, Charlie. Hi. I, I, I'm also in the interview. Yeah, why weren't you saying things before, Tom? Well, uh, you kind of hogged the microphone. You hogged the microphone. 
before. Chatty Cathy over here, right? Right? He is absolutely correct. Of course, is quite a chatting Catherine, as it were. So then we got uh, played on the radio, and it was quite a happy, happy, fun, good time. Now, did you get a check in the mail for a hefty sum of ten, may I say, twelve hundred dollars, otherwise known as the presidential salary? No, we did not. That is absurd. Did you uh, did you press the single onto some forty fives and ship it out to local record stores for the kids? To... No, we did not. Why didn't you do this? Because that's expensive. <laughs> Expense? You know, when I was your age, it was expensive to buy candy, but we bought it. Yeah. Don't know what to say now, do ya? You? You've shown me. We, we didn't press records because we didn't think it was actually going to do anything. It kind of went on the radio a day after it was released. And it wasn't for, like, the quality of the song. It was for, like, a radio-themed day. Pretty much. We're, we're, I don't, really don't think it's going to sell all that much. Well, it was great talking to you, too. Now... If you're a square like Chris over here and you're wanting to quit that smoking game, how about you pick up some nicotine chips from Doritos? Nothing like some nicotine Cool Ranch flavor to knock down those smoking cravings. All right, this is this is Charlie from CHNL 2777 right at the top of your radio dial signing off next up we've got the brand new single from Mr. Buddy Holly oh boy enjoy National Radio Day here from CHNL 2777 top of the radio dial CHNL 2777 top of the radio jazz you know what I'm saying alright bye bye all of my 